life jutsu. The idea is that you start collecting anecdotes of people's stories, of the things that went wrong. And then you start finding commonality and you start uh, brainstorming about different ways you could have dealt with things better, different, uh, different ways you could have gotten better results. And then later, um, when you're really familiar with this kind of stuff, and you see these uh, warning signs or these, uh, these early events happening, you can spring into action and you can do what needs to be done before it becomes bad. So, for example, if uh, lots of different people put off paying their electric, for example, and their electric got turned off, you can now go, ah, you know what? As soon as you get the bill, pay it. <laughs> I know it's kind of a stupid example, but uh, yeah, it's sort of like it's sort of like the study of jujitsu, but for what life does to you. See, with jujitsu, you have okay, somebody has you in a chokehold like this, and uh, what are some of the ways you can get out of it, and then. The jiu-jitsu practitioner, he, he studies like, okay, I could pinch the back of the knee, I could put my hand across the nose like this. I could, um, and with the study of life jiu-jitsu, you study um, all the different fucked up things that uh, sort of happen to people, but uh, not from a, a martial arts sort of, uh, sort of focus, but kind of pulling it back, uh, things like rent, drug addiction, um, you know, those kinds of things. The kind of shit that happens to us that uh, karate or Aikido or whatever just don't address. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's life jutsu. Oh, and another way of doing this is to uh, read biographies and find out uh, what they did.